My name is Mr. Steve. I'm a storyteller. Hello, everybody. It's me, Mr. Steven. It's time for another story time. And today, we're reading a very special book about losing a tooth. And I've got a special person to help me read it. Da 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 da! Me! Eleanor! Eleanor, you just lost one of your front yeah. teeth. So tell us about it, Eleanor. Well, um, I was just drinking water and then I feel something in my mouth and then I didn't know what it was. I thought that it was like, like just a thing that was in my water. Yeah. But then it was my tooth. Wow. That comes out. And then my daddy um, hanged it up in a plastic bag and put it on my door. Yeah, fun fact, kids. The Tooth Fairy, uh, we're in a pandemic right now, and people are getting sick. So some houses, the Tooth Fairy will come in and put money under the pillow. But one thing that the Tooth Fairy is doing, if your house wants to uh, do this, the Tooth Fairy has been socially distancing which is the right thing to do, it, I think, oh, because of the right. pandemic. It's so right. you put your tooth in a uh, plastic, plastic bag, bag, a Ziploc bag. You tape it to your door, and that way the tooth fairy can just come in and take the tooth and leave some money in the bag, and then there you go. You're welcome for that. What? So we're going to be reading this book. My tooth is about to and fall then, out. And did you know that the cat also followed the person? Oh, yeah? Cool. That's kind of like our <laughs> cats, huh? That's kind of like... Eris, the guard cat who follows us and around the block. And Miso. And Miso, sure. This book is from 1995. Wow, I was six years old when this book came out. Don't Aww. question it. So that picture. There's the cat sleeping. Shh. Uh-oh. It wobbles. It wiggles. It joggles. Which isn't a word. Yeah. Just to be clear. You can't juggle all of your tools. No, joggles. Not even... Not even juggling, it joggles. That's not even a thing. It joggles, it jiggles. <gasps> my butt is about to fall off. No, my tooth. Oh, Eleanor's tooth is about to no. fall off. Oh, oh, this person's tooth. <laughs> okay. It kind uh, of looks like me because my tooth. Yeah. My tooth is about to fall out. Oh, man. I hope it doesn't fall while I am playing ball. It's going back to the world. Yeah, yeah. I, I, either they're playing ball or this is an alien planet. And the cat, as you can see, is flying off to its home planet of Catopia, which was a peaceful utopia until the asteroid hit. I hope it doesn't fall while I am playing ball. Or swimming in the pool. You like swimming, huh? Yeah. Or having fun at school. But most of all, I hope it doesn't fall into my meatball or in my spaghetti. Oh, you like spaghetti and meatballs, don't you? Yeah. Especially meatballs. We're a big meatball fan in this house, aren't we? Meatball buddies. Woo! Woo! Oops, it's already gone. Can you see where the tooth is? Can you see where it is? It's right there. There it is. We found the tooth. Hooray. My tooth is in my... <gasps> Spaghetti! Oh, no, no, sorry. Yeah. You ever get that weird feeling where you think that a ninja's going to attack you? You ever get that feeling? Yeah? Do you uh, kids ever get I that feeling? I hope it doesn't come after this video. I, ho I hope it doesn't happen at all, you know? I, I am... Storytime with Mr. Steve is against ninja attacks because I feel that we need to take a stand. Just say no on ninja attacks. So, thankfully, this storytime video is ninja-free. Uh. <laughs> my tooth is in my bowl. My tongue can feel the hole. Oh, yeah, you, you can always uh, feel the, the spot where okay. your tooth used to be. Yeah, that's always neat. It feels funny. Mm -hmm. Nothing's there. It actually 
actually feels funny. Yeah. My tongue slides through its only air. The, the cat's just... Hmm? Now that space gives my face a brand new big kid smile. Oh, look at that adorable smile of Eleanor's. Then tonight I'll go to sleep and the tooth fairy will creep into my room. Or outside of the door, because the Tooth Fairy does social distance if you want to do that. So, you're welcome. <gasps> One, two, three pennies. Free. Uh, it's and probably I got quarters. four pennies. Or, or maybe bottle caps. No, you got four quarters. High five. That was, that was the weakest high five. Give me a good high five. That was too hard. Why did you do it so hard? Dad. I'm just kidding. She'll take my baby tooth, and maybe, if I'm lucky, she will leave something behind for me to find. Oh, you get quarters? Cool. You know what I used to get under my pillow when I was a kid? Raw meat. I had 20 baby teeth with big ones growing underneath. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, okay. Take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job! 20 teeth! Yeah, I had 20 baby teeth with big ones growing underneath. My roots, I think, dissolve and shrink until they're small, and so my teeth get loose and fall, and there's the teeth falling there. My big teeth will begin to show from under my gums way below. Yeah, eventually Daddy, you're gonna be gums. feeling yeah, you're gonna be feeling a big kid tooth oh, coming look. out. I can't wait to see them. They'll look great. It's already growing in. Yeah. And that's the end of that story. Good job. Yay! That was super good. Well, wow, that was a really sweet story. Did you like that story? Yes. I like that story, too. I want to thank Eleanor for helping me with today's story. Thank you, Eleanor. Mwah. And I want to thank you for watching. And while you're here, you know, why don't you like and subscribe? <laughs> and all of those things I'm supposed to say because I'm somebody on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, it's a ninja attack! No, just like I was get. worried about! That's what you get for saying no to ninja attacks. Oh no! Ninja! We're being attacked! Ah! <laughs> cough, cough, sputter, sputter. See you next time. Hi! <laughs>